What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the title, it is almost summer, so I need to sell some of my airsoft guns in order to make room for others and also to be able to travel to certain events. I just have way too many guns, I always have way too many guns and it's not always a bad thing, but it's kind of a bad thing. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these guns. Now you're gonna wanna stick to, uh, here till the end because at the end I have a really cool gun that I'm possibly gonna let go. Last time we did this, I actually sold my system a TW5. So if you're kind of getting along with that trend, there's a cool gun that I may be selling at the end of this as well if I get the right price because I've gotten some other really cool AEGs that I've built up. But without further ado, let's get to the first gun. So first gun is the Tanaka Car 90. This is a gun I've had in my collection for so long. I love it, it comes with two mags. Um, it's gas powered, it actually shoots ridiculously hard. So this is a ridiculously hard shooting gas powered rifle. I believe it actually shoots at like 560 feet per second with a .2 is the last time I carded it. Like, I guess it's been about a year ago now. Um, I kind of just keep this gun because it's beautiful. I love the light colored wood. It's completely made out of steel. If you know anything about these guns, they are super expensive. Uh, they're like $800 new and they aren't made anymore. Um, but this gun is absolutely beautiful. Everything that, I'm not gonna say prices here, I'll have all the prices listed in the description along with all of the info and you can either message me on Instagram or Facebook Messenger or whatever, or even comment on the video. Most of the time people that comment aren't serious though, so if you're really serious about buying one of these guns, go ahead and message me through one of those and be like, yo, I have PayPal, let's do this. First gun down. Second gun is a WE Masada ACR MSK, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it will come with one working magazine. It might have a little bit of a leak. Um, I'll put that in the description whether it does. Often, like when I haven't used my gas mags for a while, they will get leaky. And I'm just not a huge gas rifle fan. I really like AEGs, I really like HPA. Um, I like the recoil that these offer, but the reliability for gas guns does not work. This actually does have in upgraded internals, so it'll also be in the description. I believe it's got steel trigger, like a whole steel trigger set. Um, SureShot Midget has done a lot of mods to make it a little bit better because when it came out stock, it wasn't that great. But it's a cool gun, a great gun. I'm gonna sell it for pretty cheap because like I said, um, I don't really need this anymore and I wanna get either other guns. I also bought, I don't know if I can tell you guys this, yeah, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I bought a Vector, so I pre-ordered a Vector from Evike. As soon as they came out, I was like, I want one, they're gonna be awesome. So I pre-ordered one that's coming out in August. So that's another reason I just spent 400 and some dollars on that. Um, next is a package. So this will come with a package. This is an Avengers M4, the BAMF. It'll come with mags. So this is the mid cap, and then it'll come with a 300 round high cap. Good old plethora of e-bike safety sacks. It's got your manual. It will also come with a battery and a smart charger. So this is perfect. You can't even see the orange in the wall. This is perfect for someone that wants to just get a really cheap entry level gun. Also it tells you it's made in China with the bright sticker there. It has some cool trademarks. Um, very simple gun, very good for one of you guys that's a younger player and maybe can't afford one of these higher end guns. This will be great and it will last you quite a bit of time otherwise because I mean, you just, like everyone needs a gun to start out and everyone needs a cheap gun to start out. That's how literally all of us start out. Moving on, this is a little bit higher quality gun, actually a lot higher quality gun than that, but this is a VFC Mini M4. I don't exactly know which version this is, but there's this, their stubby M4, it's front wired. Um, I have shot this one a little bit. That one's brand new, I haven't shot that at all. I shot this one probably had about 100 rounds through just to test it, and this thing was shooting awesome. The hop up was great, I was getting more range than half of my um, long range rifles, but this thing was super cool, functioning bolt lock. Um, Really, really nice, it's got the VFC bodies. If you know anything about VFC, they're awesome. It actually comes with this really cool compensator too, so we'll get rid of that orange tip, and it'll be awesome. This looks really, really cool actually. I have not put it on yet, like I said, because I have not shot this very much. Also comes with a VFC mod, VR16, their new series, and then their new mid caps that are very light and decently high quality. Um, I haven't used them a whole lot, but from what I remember, I used, I guess I used them what, one game. Um, it worked pretty well, so it worked fine. And they have like some extra stuff in here. Um, I'll just give you everything basically that I got from it. Next gun is another EEG. This is actually one I just traded for. It's also VFC, so technically this is an Echo One Platinum M16, um, but it's all VFC made, everything internal is VFC, the body is VFC, you can tell by how high quality it is. It has a front uh, M16 handrail on here. This is the Magpul MOE handguard, the front handguard. This is the full length one. There's a carbine and a short one. This is the full length 12 inch one, um, standard 20 inch M16 barrel. Um, it's really, really nice actually. This barrel is really, 
good. I do not have a flash hider for this. And then it comes with a standard black pulling stock, but I really, really love these huge stocks because you can fit a ginormous battery in here. I could literally fit like a 5,000 milliamp battery in there if I wanted to. It's one of the reasons I like full stocks and it just provides a consistent cheek weld. And who doesn't really like an M16? Man, I love throwing it back to old M16s. Bull catch works as well. Pretty cool gun, got cool. I like the, it also has red um, on the fire selector switch, like the red bullets, which I think is kind of cool. It's just a cool little like added touch there. Um, next, we're gonna go into pistols. So this is the pistol section. I have a ton of pistols. I'm gonna start out with one I really don't wanna sell, to be honest, but I don't know when the heck I'm gonna use this. Like, this thing is so, so cool. I just have, like, I'm trying to think of like a holster. I, I guess I'm kind of like, being, being like, oh, I don't know if you should buy this because I don't know when the heck I'm going to use it, which isn't good as a salesperson point of view, but, oh, gosh, this thing is so cool. So, um, this is one of those AW Customs, double barrel, 1911, um, it's got a, it shoots amazing. I've shot three mags out of this so far, so it's fairly, still fairly new. Um, honestly, I'm putting guns through this because I'm super busy with school, so I'm in my junior year of college and I don't really have a lot of time to play or soft and shoot right now. Um, but summer is coming, don't worry, I have a month left, and then I'll finally be able to upload a ton of videos. But this gun's awesome, AW Custom, huge, huge gun. I did this as, I used this as a T-Rex video, I guess that was the only time I really shot it. But this thing shoots awesome, it shoots super accurately, and the recoil is insane. Um, this is the Golden Black variant, it also has the hex mags on the grip. Um, next gun is a WE Matrix Dectonics 45. I'm gonna let this go for really cheap, just cause I don't like, it's really tiny and it's cool, but it's a really tiny pistol, so if you're one of those people that really wants like a light gun, um, this might be good to kind of put in a mag pouch, um, maybe even like one of those chest rigs you can kind of use, and it's just a good little pistol that has a single stack mag and can shoot if need, and also it's just a cheap gas black pistol for those of you that will maybe want a cheaper one. Next, we have a Tokimori FN57, which I also don't want to sell. This is the gun that I'm gonna ha probably hold on to the hardest, as far as like a pretty standard price point on there, because they're kind of hard to get to. Um, this thing is really, really cool. I love this. I haven't shot that many mags out of it, but I got it from a guy I used, um, but it's still in very, very good condition. He said he shot a few mags out of it as well. I used this in one game, and I think I blew through three mags. Um, I actually got like five guys with one mag. It was really cool at, um, at one of the airsoft fields that I worked at. But I love this gun, super cool. Um, next is actually one of my favorite guns. This is actually something that Novers runs. This is the Tokyo Murray G18C full auto. Um, it's got all the full Glock trademarks on here as well. So it's got the Glock, it has Austria 18C Austria 9x19, got all the full trades, it is full auto. It is not upgraded like his is, but this thing is a mean gun. It shoots in semi and full auto. I happen to have a ton of mags and a ton of batteries for it. So here's all the mags. That's a lot. And then here are the batteries. I think I have five. Yeah, because there's one in here, four or five. Um, one of them's Tokyo Murray. The rest are Saima, I believe. But these things are super cool. Um, this gun is just really, really cool, and I love it but I don't really use electric, electric pistols anymore. Honestly, I don't even use pistols a whole lot anymore, especially when I'll run like a 14.5 inch barrel gun. I just don't need a whole, like really need a whole lot of pistols, unfortunately, which kind of makes me sad. But like I said, that Tokyo Marine 5.7 so far has been really great. When I run like a sniper loadout, I'll kind of keep that in my fly fanny pack and then I rocked it and I just I went crazy on those kids. Um, up next is a somewhat broken, and I don't actually know what's wrong with this. I bought this um, broken. It's basic, it was brand new. Um, but the lower receiver doesn't work, so the, it's like a little bit. It, the lower receiver just, as soon as you, as soon as you let it go, um, it fires. So this will be real, like I'm letting this go for really cheap. Hopefully, someone. My brother said that all you need to do is get a new lower. I'm not like it's not worth it to me. I got it just because I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, and I got it um, for a good price. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna use this for like a video or something, and then get rid of it. That's the Wii Two Can, I believe, is what they call it. It's the M&P. Uh, Smith and Wesson 40s, 45s, um, the military police, but they can't call it that because the trademarks. Next is gear. So this is gear. I'll get to the last gun in a minute, um, but this is gear. So this is a Fly JPC, not Fly, sorry, um, Emerson. Uh, what do they call it? This is this one's Emerson. Um, black. What do they call it on Evike? Emerson. It's, it's basically one of those really nice, like low budget. JPCs, it'll come with the plates. It's black, multi-cam technically. Um, I can't remember, Avengers. Avengers is what they call them on Evike. It's the exact same brand, made in the exact same factory. Um, next, 
suppressor. Um, this one's both clockwise and counterclockwise. It's kind of beat up. Special Forces is what it says, but it's a tan suppressor and it's cheap. Um, this is this last mag for the Tanaka. And then I also have a shot out front EOTech. I don't know who, like who, like a lot of people just like these for the looks. This was actually my favorite EOTech until I got shot. This is a GMP EOTech. It's like 90 bucks and I've had it for so long. And then some dude that was a cheater got hit and I shot him twice, and then he turns around and pulls up with his AK and shoots me, and I was like, hey, I hit you. I didn't realize until afterwards that he actually shot out my gun, or my EOTech, and I was sad. All right, another sad part of the video. This is my system of PTW. Um, I'm gonna start out saying, I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it. I've tried things, Z shot Zach's tried stuff with it. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm either gonna, if I get a good price, I'm gonna sell this because I do need the money because I go to college and I don't wanna be in debt as much when I come out. Um, but I absolutely love this gun. I spent so many hours on making it look weathered. If you can tell, probably not in this picture as much, maybe in that lighting if it glistens off of it a little bit more. But man, this thing is so cool. And I just I had like spray paint on it and I took all the spray paint off. Um, EOTech is shot out as well. This is a JBU, or not JBU, uh, VTAC handguard, but it's like technically, it looks like the um, JBU, or the, no, the JP handguards. Um, but this is really old, really, really nice. I might actually put this on my AR if I don't know selling this on my AR that I'm building. Um, that's really cool stock. This is a uh, Mission First Tactical stock. It's like, I don't know exactly, the BUS stock, I think that's what it's called, and then it has the, the shoulder one as well. Magpul grip. Internally, um, it's all Systema. Most of it's new. I have a new ECU. Um, the motor is an FCC 2.5 that needs work. The motor's the only thing that really needs work on it. Um, but for some reason, with my cylinder and my Red Bull pop up, my Orga and my flat hop, for some reason, it's just not cycling well. Like it cycles well, but it chops the BBs. And I'm not sure why. So if I'm going to do anything with it, I'll either sell it or send it to Tackleberry. Um, but this is something that I'm guessing some people will be interested in. Um, so I'm looking for a, a chance of selling it. But it honestly, hurts my heart to sell this because I love this. And this is basically what I would build. Like this is the coolest external gun I've probably ever built. I love this multi-cam wrap. I love this stock. I love the silver look of the buffer tube. Um, I love the weather look on the gun. I also have a crap ton of mags with this. So with this, I have five system of mags that are all have, or six system of mags um, that all have their, like the, the bottom um, magpul grips on these, which is funny because they're actually, the magpuls are the sideways version, so you can kind of grab it, which is cool. So it's kind of like a mix between ranger plate and a magpul. Um, and then I have six Celsius mags. These Celsius mags are brand new, never used. I might have run through a mag of either one of them just to test this gun, but it wasn't working obviously, like I said. But it's a sad day because I think I have to sell this because I built that other AEG that I really like and I'm buying the Vector and I have a Crytek LVOA that I love. And I don't know how much love this thing is gonna get. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I know it was kind of long. You guys are great. This has been Alec Mac 101. Let me know if you want these guns because I need to sell them. See you guys later.